Ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, and love bugs, I come before you today with a message of empowerment, of resilience, and of unwavering faith. In a world that often tries to define us by our appearances, our achievements, or our relationships, it is crucial to remember where our true worth lies within ourselves, and that is rooted in our faith. The journey of discovering our worth is not always easy. It requires courage, determination, and a steadfast belief in our own inherent value. But rest assured, you're not alone on this journey. Our faith provides us with the solid foundation guiding us through life's ups and downs and reminding us of our worth in the eyes of our Creator. Psalms 139.14 says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. This verse reminds us that we are intricately designed by a loving God, each of us unique and valuable in our own right. We are each individually different. Even if you are an identical twin, you have different fingerprints and DNA makeups than your twin. There are even girl-boy identical twins, though it is very rare. No two people are exactly alike. This is exciting because it proves that our God hand-knit us in our mother's womb, as scripture tells us. Have you ever knitted a project? I mean, hand-knitted, not on a loom or on a machine, but knitting needles and yarn? It is very therapeutic and a very beautiful craft to hone, but it is tedious time-consuming, and yet one drop stitch can change your entire pattern. See, the verse before that scripture I first shared tells you, for you are formed, you formed my inner parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. That was, of course, Psalms 139.13. God knows you so intimately because he created you with passion, purpose, and a personality so unique that no one can copy you. He did that for a reason so that you can know that you bring value to his kingdom. Once you get into your brain and really marinate in the truth of those words, you will stop the comparison games that you've been playing with yourself or even comparing other people to you. Eleanor Roosevelt famously said, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. This quote serves as a powerful reminder that our worth is not determined by the opinions or actions of others but by the strength of our own self-worth. Proverbs 31.25 declares, She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. This verse speaks to our inner strength and dignity that resides within each of us, empowering us to face whatever challenges may come our way with grace and courage. Have you ever had to face a crowd that was coming against you for one reason or another? Maybe they didn't agree with you or your viewpoints. That is okay. It is perfectly okay to not have every single person on the same page as you are in life, especially if there are a bunch of people you may never ever meet face to face. But how you come back at them says everything about your character and who you serve on a daily basis. I'm not saying to put your head in the sand and pretend that conflict does not exist, but I am asking you to take a look at how you're handling the conflict and maybe decide if you are indeed are escalating the problem or are you freeing yourself from the burden of chaos. Maya Angelou once said, I can be changed by what happens to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. These words remind us that our worth is not defined by our circumstances, but by how we choose to respond to them. Someone who is clothed in strength and dignity will learn to hold their tongue. In fact, she laughs at the days to come. Do you understand what that means? It doesn't mean that she has the attitude of, oh, you want to go dirty, I'll show you dirty. <laughs> no, it means she takes a minute to cool down, think about what she needs to say, and says it with calmness and clarity and her dignity still intact. She doesn't leave a mess to clean up when she is done. Romans 8.37 affirms, No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. This powerful assurance reminds us that we are not just survivors, but conquerors, capable of overcoming any obstacle with the love and strength that comes from our faith. Someone who knows their worth and value are grounded and rooted in the faith 
will be bold enough to do more than simply survive. They will be tempted to go outside of the boundary of survival and find a way to thrive. Oprah Winfrey once said, the biggest adventure you could take is to live the life of your dreams. Let these words today ignite a fire within you to pursue your dreams with passion and purpose, knowing that you are worthy of every success that comes your way because you are fulfilling your purpose with passion and keeping in alignment with your faith. So my dear friends, as you navigate through life's journey, remember this, you are fearfully and wonderfully made, clothed with strength and dignity, and capable of conquering anything that comes your way. Embrace your worth, stand tall in your faith, and let your light shine brightly for all to see. The world is waiting for the unique gifts that only you can offer. In fact, in the time that we are in today, the world needs what you have to offer even more than ever before. It needs your story, your passion, and for you to walk in your God-given purpose today. Now is not the time for cowards, as they won't lead anyone to the finish line. They will simply be sitting in the sidelines watching the runners run the race which was set before them. In Hebrews 12.1 it tells us, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. The race set before you. The race set before me. And the amazing thing is, there is more than one winner. Just because someone makes it to the finish line before you does not mean that, their, that your race has ended. Why? Because your race is just that. It's yours. If you didn't win it, who will? No one. So let go of the burdens holding you back, the mindset of lack, and the unwillingness to grab a hold of this truth today. Go out there, run your race with your held head, head held high and give it all you got. Until next time.